I don't have a CB, no. This would have been a great time to strike. I'm an idiot. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasables challenge, the challenge we play every nation you for that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with an extremely difficult start, probably one of the hardest starts in the entirety of U4 as the nation of Nizhny Novgorod. Nizhny Novgorod is a nation that can be released from Muscovy, a super powerful nation right at the start, which has five other subjects from below zero Yaroslavl, Rostov, and Puskov right here. And as you all know, I experienced extreme amounts of pain when I had to play below zero in A to Z in season B. So I don't think this is going to be any easier. Or is it? Maybe Maybe with a nation such as this that gets released more powerful than below zero right here and with the addition of five other subjects us being the sixth one we may be able to get an easier start than what we had with below zero but after that expansion is going to be super tough we're going to be locked in between the hordes between poland and lithuania novgorod might get powerful here so even though we might be able to wipe out muscovy to accomplish one of our goals it is going to be extremely hard to become a great power so first we got to try and break free and then well i don't know what this game will bring but first, I want to talk about Giant Mechs, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a fast-paced PvP mech shooter game that brings competitive mayhem for everyone. And I've been playing it a lot lately, so I gotta tell you about some of my favorite mechs. First, let me tell you about Killshot. This is literally the fastest mech in the game. He's got like this ability melee dash that just smashes everything. It lets him move super quickly. And if the dash hits another mech, it deals massive damage. This mech is such a rush to play. And also, he's on a wheel, dude. Come on. Then we have another favorite mech of mine, and he's the complete opposite to Killshot. This is Brickhouse, and this is the biggest and baddest mech in the arena. He's big, he's tough, and puts out some serious damage. Its overcharge ability massively boosts damage, as well as the damage of all nearby teammates, so if you work together, it's basically a free win. You guys have to try both of these mechs. In other news, this month Mech Arena is celebrating Pride by offering players free pride theme skins for free just by playing, and later in the month, there's an epic sci-fi themed event bringing new maps, the Chain Gun, Scorpius, and a new Heavy Duty Pilot, with an awesome look. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code and you'll get a free starter pack worth $30 that includes a Missile Rack 6, Prodigy Crate, and a skin. And you can also add me via my mech ID and maybe you'll find me in game. After all, it's completely free to play on Android, iOS, and PC. Thank you to Mech Arena for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump in as Nizhny Novgorod. Alright, right here we are as Muscovy. We can uh, just go ahead and click this away. Blah, blah, blah. We're not a tributary anymore. And as you all know, November 11th, 1444, simply gonna click right here oh, i hope i never get this one this is the hardest start in the game <laughs> but either way there's initially Novgorod plays the release subject and boom there we are now i'm gonna be honest i've had a couple of trial runs as these guys and there are two ways to break free from muscovy uh one way is if poland doesn't get lithuania you get Novgorod and lithuania to support you and then you break free from muscovy the other way is if poland does get lithuania we have to wait a while longer maybe about 10 or 15 years until poland and muscovy rival each other and then we just do it with poland and lithuania but of course by that point muscovy may grow so it is pretty tricky here either way we're a pretty powerful subject man maybe the most powerful muscovite subject right now so uh let's go ahead and choose our government reform obviously we're gonna go with a russian principality it is pretty strong and um now let's wait for december 1st to do the estate setup and um try and find some people to support our independence this is not gonna be easy boys i'm <laughs> uh Okay, there's December 1st. We can choose this mission right here. I know I always waste it. Yes, I am aware. And uh, let's go ahead and summon the diet. Uh, let's go with this. Let's give the patriarchs religious state. And um, uh, I am going to get religious diplomats. Let's give the boyars primacy and increase. And let's give the burgers uh, land patronage and indebted right here. We do get a ton of money as these guys sell, seize. There's even more money. Please let me have a diplo rep guy. And we do. Excellent, excellent. We can also afford a mill guy. So I'm going to get this manpower guy and let's tell these uh, free merchants one of them can collect in Novgorod can't reach Kiev or Krakow so the other guy can um you know, go ahead and collect in Kazan. I'll tell both of these guys to establish communities. Let's go ahead and start spying on Muscovy with one of our diplomats. And with the other one, we can improve with Novgorod until we see what happens with uh, Poland and Lithuania. Like I said, if Poland doesn't get Lithuania, we can break free early with these two guys. If they do get Lithuania, we got to wait a little more. Either way, force limit is eight. So let's go ahead and not do anything because our army will get wiped by Muscovy when we declare independence. So no need to waste money on that. The Muscovite rivals at the start are the usual suspects, which is only Novgorod, right? They're the only nation we can uh, probably get right off the bat. Yeah, so we can get Lithuania too if Poland doesn't get them. 
Let's wait. And Poland actually did go with Lithuania. Okay, that's pretty early, but, you know, good to know where we stand. So we're not going to be getting Novgorod to support our independence. Muscovy is probably going to fight them. If they don't, it would be good. Then we could get Poland, Lithuania, and Novgorod. But uh, yeah, right now we have to wait for uh, Poland and Muscovy to rival each other. That's the situation. Additionally, if Muscovy fights Novgorod and Denmark fights Novgorod, and if they start bordering each other, we could get Denmark too. Although I haven't had success with that in any of my runs so far. Some other things as Nizhny Novgorod, man, we're making decent money right here at the start. Like I said, we can run two advisors, perhaps even three if we give the cheaper advisors, uh, thanks to this uh, copper producing province that we have right here, which is also a center of trade. You know what I haven't done so far? It may be a good idea to put a fort up, an additional fort right here to slow down Muscovy even more. Uh, this is the state right here. This is the capital state. This is the other state. So uh, which one would be the logical one? This one, I guess here, Suzdal. You know what? I am going to do it. You know, we're not doing anything with the money either way. Interestingly, uh, Poland didn't get Moldavia. They chose to remain independent. We also need to go through the ideas and stuff right here. So starting ruler is 634. That's really good. Air is pretty good as well. I'm happy with that. And let's take a look at the ideas. They are unique. Okay, construction and fort maintenance discount. Well, looks like I'm a little psychic here with these forts. Cost of fabricate claims as an ambition. That's pretty good. Caravan power, dev discount, tax, fort defense, colonists, trade efficiency, culture, conversion cost. Yo, these are really interesting national ideas here. And we got like some <laughs> Russian principality missions too, which is not bad at all, man. Lots of flavor for these guys. I'm liking this a lot. Okay. And Muscovy has started its first war. It's versus Novgorod and uh, Odoyev right here. A little unfortunate, but if Muscovy does start bordering Sweden, Denmark is a potential supporter as well. And after they grow bigger they'll rival each other with poland which is good okay let me start improving with poland now okay uh war is done muscovy does now border sweden so yep denmark isn't too far away we could possibly get them as well another great thing uh these pretenders almost always rise up so muscovy wasted manpower on fighting this war now they're gonna use more to fight the pretenders which are of course pretty tough this is good this is good let's start improving with denmark and yep there we go they've rivaled poland let's see what we can do with them ah but poland haven't rivaled them back i think once they embrace the renaissance they will though Karelia popped out of here Muscovy fought for that as well yeah they've taken a lot of land I don't know weird man weird this might need a restart whoa ah Swedish independence war this this isn't good for me although if they get really involved in it okay uh Poland has rivaled Muscovy now okay uh too many diplo relations neutral attitude army strength not the same religion okay yeah that's that's how we gotta do it we gotta get a bunch more loans here build up our army muscovy is pretty far away from us they're probably gonna go to denmark anyway so build up the army to the max and get the free company i think they'll support us like that this is gonna be a lot more loans but we gotta do it okay uh eight troops so i started recruiting troops i'm also gonna activate defensive everywhere now maybe if we could get mill access through like the great horde we could just slip out of here and into lithuania so i'm gonna start improving with the great horde there we go no more army strength thingy the uh, poland will support us okay excellent so we got poland uh lithuania and mazovia okay so if we declare right now, it's going to be us. Sweden is going to get involved as well. But Sweden should be able to peace out pretty soon because they'll get sieged down, right? I wonder if I should declare like this. Muscovy, they're not looking too good. Their armies are all the way up here. Okay, I think I'll declare in a month or two. Okay, one final check. Muscovy sucks with manpower and I'm a Miltek ahead of them. Poland is not, so I might be able to win a few battles here. Poland, full on manpower. Lithuania, full on manpower. Mazovia, as small as they are, they're full too. Uh, Muscovite subjects are looking decently strong, but we gotta do this. I think I'll be able to peace out Sweden without doing anything to them. All right, boys, before I click this, type I believe in the comments below. I can run away to Lithuania. All right, I took an L in a battle, but uh, now the Muscovites are somewhere up here. Either way, we can take our tier two government reform. Oh, what's this? Separate the boyars from the court. Boyars are whom? Okay, the nobility. And then we got yearly government power. What's government power, dude? Is, that, is it like this? What? Either way, I know strengthen isn't that good right now, but starting off with a nation that has high crown loan ownership, which is our, basically a releasable nation, it's not that bad. So uh, I am going to go strengthen here. Ooh, Sweden got a uh, Stockholm occupied. Let's see. Okay, we can piece them out. Wait, can we actually take something? Nah, of course not. But there we go. Okay, so it wasn't a bad idea to declare now. Okay, excellent. Let's keep going. I need someone's help up here, dude. Where's Muscovy's army? 
Uh, Hungary declared on Bosnia, which is Poland's ally. I can actually get Miltek 5 here. So, uh, usually I wouldn't do this until I get the Renaissance, but these are special circumstances. Okay, Poland hopped out of that Hungary war, which is good. You know what, even though we're at war, I'm maxed out on admin. I am gonna start developing the Renaissance in my capital, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much all, like, woods and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna activate Encourage right here, and, uh... I'm gonna start bumping up the capital. At least an admin and diplo, you know? Let's also expand. Just got a hundred ducat gift from the Great Horde. Okay, I think the war with Muscovy is pretty much done. Now, let's see if I get independence right here. Where is it? There we go. There's Grant Independence. And if I take something, Poland's mad, right? They'll lose 20 trust, which means it'll go down from 50 to 30. But I do have 13 favors that I can trade for 10 more trust. So we get back at 40, which means they won't break their alliance with me. I think. Either way, Independence War is done. Good. You know, it is easier than below zero. I have to admit that. And I'm also going to get some provinces here. Now, Moscow, it's occupied by Poland. So let's get this right here. Like this, we border Riazan as well. So we can fight them. And uh, yeah, they always lose a just 20 trust. Do I, do I give them something, man? Do I give them this? 15? eight like that you know what this is what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna take this for myself right here i picked out the provinces based on goods and centers of trade and stuff like that independence and then i'm also giving these two uh over here to poland uh just so they don't lose uh, that much trust and then i guess we can take some money too that's the independence we're done all right not looking bad at all baby not bad at all i'm happy with that oh i think the hardest part is done i don't know <laughs> Okay, but now that that's done, let me go ahead and trade favors for trust with Poland. There we go. Okay, so now they shouldn't break their alliance with me. Let's go ahead and rival some more nations. I'm gonna rival, uh, actually, Riazan and Ver. I do border both of those guys, so maybe I could fight them. There we go, that's perfect. Lower this how many times? Yeah, there we go. And then we can go ahead and core this up, which is pretty expensive. And um, even though I have tech 5 and mill, I think we're going to continue to dev our capital here to uh, spawn the Renaissance. Oh, we can also do some of these, so let me do that. And there's the Renaissance. Perfect. Uh, advancement for now, I guess. Let's also give out the cheaper advisor privileges now. There's clerical, there's aristocratic, and then there's commercial. I can also get new burger loans which I can use to pay off the 4% loans. Oh, actually, let's embrace the Renaissance. Perfect. Now, of course, we should look into fighting Kazan because of this gold mine right here. They're like the Transoxiana, which is pretty far. I mean, I guess it's not that far. It's right here. But, you know, if Poland does come in, we can definitely fight them. I wonder if they would. Is it too far away from them? Oh, it's not too far away, but they are in debt. I guess we'll see what's up with that. Either way, Tver and Riazan are next on our chopping block. Great Horde declared on Muscovy. Interesting. So Muscovy is still fighting the Great Horde, but now... Wait, actually, Sweden... Uh, Denmark kept Sweden, dude? Oh, and they're loyal now, too. I did not expect that at all. Uh, but they just declared on Muscovy, too. But this is good for us, I guess. They'll shrink. Of course, it's going to be harder to expand uh, into the Commonwealth, the Hordes, or the Kalmar Union, rather than Muscovy. So, sort of a double-edged... Uh, right there got some patriarch authority i'm gonna activate uh, this so it's time for our first idea group here and we don't have any mill stuff in our national ideas you know the fort things really don't count i'm talking about something that directly you know helps our army so you know we have to open up with a mill idea group here i think offensive would be pretty useful honestly so yeah let's go with offensive and um uh i am gonna focus okay so the great horde isn't actually doing too well in its war with muscovy they seem to have you know been occupied quite a lot which means they won't defend their tributary riazan right here so what i'm gonna do is declare on riazan co-belligerent tver which is this nation up here and that's a uh, seven more provinces for us baby let's get it now Muscovy got declared by Kazan too. This is like the Ottoman collapse all over again. I hope something's left for me, dude. Uh, either way, we got to time our truce right with Muscovy since uh, Poland will want to declare on them too. And we got to do it before they do. Okay, this war is done. Let me separate piece Tver right here. Take everything. Boom, perfect. And now I'm going to piece out Riazan as well. Take everything once again. We don't really care about the AE here since we're just fighting uh, Orthodox nations, right? These other guys aren't really mad at all. And uh, that's that war done. Yes, I do need a lot of admin points to core this up. But hey, we're in no rush here. All right, a seam has popped out. What's going on here? Okay, what, what happened with Muscovy? They're still fighting Kazan. They don't have any subject. They've allied Perm. Below Zero is completely independent. Yaroslavl, Rostov, they're Great Horde tributaries. These guys are a Great Horde tributary and guaranteed by Denmark. So weird. But at least these guys will still exist, right? What can Kazan take here? 
Not much, I guess. Oh, actually, these guys are vassals, not tributaries. Only this guy's a tributary. All right, Muscovy has finally finished all the wars they were in, and um, yeah, they didn't they didn't collapse too much, man. I gotta say. Uh, next war with them, we're gonna aim to take this province right here, uh, and some stuff down here, so we can vassalize Novgorod, and then in the war after that, we can reconquer their cores. Although there aren't that many, and by that point, someone else is gonna take this. I think I'll just fight them straight up. Fun region to play in, man. I definitely enjoy playing here. Muscovy is also coming up in A to Z, so that should be pretty cool. And uh, honestly, I'm glad there wasn't as much pain with these guys as there was with Below Zero. Like I said, I did do a couple of trial runs, like three or four, maybe five games. Uh, failed only one of them, so not that hard, honestly. Way easier than Below Zero. Let's do a little bit of uh, autonomy lowering. We're already making some money, but oh, now we're sweet, dude. Finally. Yeah, Poland wouldn't help with Kazan. They're still in debt. What about, would they help with Muscovy? We can take them down ourselves, by the way, but hmm. yeah, this debt, dude. And it's not even that much as like 200 ducats. Just pay it off, bro. In other news, Hesse is the emperor because they start off with that diplorap, you know? Tier three, got reform time. No unique one over here. Uh, let's go with expand a royal court. We can actually get new burger loans now. Oh, we got the Cossacks too. Wait, how many step provinces do I have? Not a lot. Eh, let's not give these guys anything just yet. Uh, either way, we can go ahead and get new burger loans. Let me go ahead and do this too. There we go. A church in Nizhny Novgorod. Sure, I'll build it. And uh, how many centers of trade do we have right here? Let's see. We do need to put down a marketplace in uh, Yaroslav over here as well. Yeah, let's get some churches down too. Truce with Muscovy is going to be up soon, so let's prepare for that. And the truce is up. Let's go ahead and declare for Moscow. Poland would come in, but I'm not going to call them in. How many forts are there here? Uh, lots of peasants and stuff, actually. Because I don't want them occupying land, right? I want all of this. So yeah, I'm not going to call in Poland, man. Actually, Poland are preparing to declare their own war. Okay, let me set everything as provinces of interest right here, at least as much as I can. Uh, and then I'll call them in, because if we don't, they'll just declare their own war. They might take other things. I don't know. I guess that's all of it. Yeah, let's call them in. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I should have cobalt-generated perm. And yeah, we're done here. Uh, Poland did occupy some provinces. They got this and this, right? So I can't take anything over here, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take everything that we can. So I'm going to do this right here. Let's get these two to get a border with below zero. Apparently, Novgorod is gone. And like I said, we don't really care about AE. So let's take as much as we can over in this region. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to call it right here. Let's get um, nothing else. Money, some money. Yeah. Okay. Looking pretty good. What's our dev? Yeah, still pretty weak. Either way, now we are a sovereign principality. Stab legitimacy perma claims on whatever. Okay. What does this give me? I should probably do it then, huh? How many are we going to get? We didn't get any? What happened then? Whatever. Okay, as soon as we core this up, we're going to hit below zero. They don't have any allies. So let's wait a bit and then do it. Okay, everything has been cored up. Oh no, the heir died. Ah, and we don't have a queen either. Honestly, I might get PU'd by Poland here. <laughs> Who else can we royal marry? Perm below zero, Moldavia? Her. Ah, there's a queen. Nice. <laughs> instant i like that uh either way let's declare on below zero i think we're done here perfect a uh, bunch of provinces i like that let's get all their money too excellent lots of border gore here these two guys are pissing me off i kind of want to wipe them out uh yeah poland wouldn't help with these guys i can't do it by myself army's not big enough what about kazan same thing what about denmark same thing oh my god dude we're a great power now? 317 dev. Not bad, but everyone else is going to expand, so we need to keep doing the same. Also, Muscovy's province war score cost is 98. So if they just do a little bit of deving, we'll need two wars. Yeah. Overall, I'm satisfied so far. I'll definitely fight Perm and Muscovy. I, I don't know about everyone else. I Maybe I should have gone quantity. Then again, eh. Oh, okay. I thought it was I thought it was a different event. <laughs> Starlight, huh? All right. Elizabeth. Catherine. Uh, random name. Sarah. What do we need? I guess we need admin right now, huh? So the 433. Three. Yeah, we should go with the 433. Three. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. You know, finally we can do some, um, workshops. And I guess this colonist right here is for, I don't know, the game I guess assumes you're gonna reach this before you form Russia. So you won't have that ability yet. So maybe a colonial Russia game, you know, without exploration expansion. I recommend you guys give this nation a shot too, man. Pretty fun so far. Okay, uh, other developments. Denmark declared on Muscovy and Kazan declared on the Great Horde. Is that what's going on? Great Horde, Yaroslav and Rostov and uh, Uzbek declared on Kazan then. Oh no, both of these guys declared separately on Kazan. Wait, is anyone sieging this? I don't have a CB, no! 
this would have been a great time to strike. I'm an idiot. Uh, either way, I guess we'll wait for the Great Horde and Uzbek to wrap up their wars, and then I'll just declare for whatever's left of Kazan. Probably won't get the gold mine though. Unfortunate. Hey, birth of a new city. And by the way, boys, this is a new event, man. It pops up every campaign pretty much. And uh, what it does is gives you a bunch of dev based on what you choose in a certain province. Now, in my case right here, it's in this province right here, which produces grain. So obviously you need to go with the rural infrastructure to get more uh, manpower. But the thing is that birth of a new city modifier is like getting another center of trade, bro. Sucks that it's in the White Sea. And by the way, it can only happen for a three dev province so you can't get this in like i don't know a really really nice province or something like that but um yeah i just wish it was in Novgorod or kazan so let's go with that so yeah since i picked the mill one i get these awesome mill bonuses right i was talking about you know trade and stuff like that for the other ones but this is really good local defensive is plus 100 this is where you want to put a port down dude <laughs> you know what which actually i am gonna do that <laughs> right here right yeah there it is let's put one up why not that's a wrap on offensive. Uh, build buildings. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Kazan has only one province left. Uh, well, this is lame. Although... Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Poland paid off their loans. I could do a reconquest for Kazan's chorus. You know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do, baby. There's a horde vassal right there. Boom. Oof, look at all these Uzbek allies, man. Chagatai, Mongolia. So what I think we should do here is declare on the Great Horde, make Uzbek end those alliances, then in another war, reconquer Kazan's provinces from them. So yeah, there's a reconquest for, uh, well, let's do it for their capital. Call in Poland, Lithuania. And this actually shouldn't be difficult at all. Oh, maybe I can wipe these two guys out as well. Excellent. There's our second idea group. I guess religious, man, as, um, you know, as an Orthodox nation would be really good. Then again, Kazan is going to own most of these provinces. We may not even get to integrate them. We do have pretty good money-making ideas already. Yeah, I'm not sold on religious, honestly. You know what I'm gonna go with? I'm gonna go with trade. Look at this Polish general here, dog. 6542. And he's a something something leader or something. I do not like the amount of uh, red-ish nations over in this area. We got Poland, Denmark, me, Lithuania, uh, the Livonians too. Ah, there goes the excellent ruler we had from the start, man. You know what? Salute. All right, let's wait for this heiress right here. Queen kind of sucks in Diplo, and I do need it for trade. You know what? I'm going to peace out Uzbek for um this right here. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'll transfer the gold mine over to me. That's the gold mine, right? Yeah. So separate piece on Uzbek. I'll be taking that as well. Awesome. More reps too from a horde. <laughs> sure. And now we can peace out the great horde as well. So... Let's give all of Kazan's cores back to them. Perfect, only 11 AE. And I guess I'll be uh, taking some things for myself. There we go. That's about enough for now. Once again, warps from a horde. <laughs> no, I give this to Poland. Uh, fine. I can actually coalition Denmark. What did I do? Who else is mad? No one else is mad. Whatever, I'll, I'll do it either way. Just because that pop-up is there. More government forms. Let's go with this. This should be pretty good for Orthodox guys, right? Yeah. So my truce with Muscovy is up, but they're being guaranteed by Denmark. Now, I'm planning on fighting Denmark either way, but not now. So what we're going to do is actually declare on Perm here. Not Kobolodron, Muscovy. They only got like four provinces. Three provinces anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me do that as soon as I core this up, actually. Looking at our dev right now, I'm actually quite surprised that we have so much dev. I guess half of it is from Kazan. Kazan, I guess, has 100 dev. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we own a pretty big region, man. Hey, this is actually done coring. Uh, let's go ahead and full state it and activate encourage dev right there. Uh, let's do that so we make it cheaper to dev. That, that didn't change the dev at all. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we need to bump it up to 10. That's what we're doing. Okay, and while we're doing that, let's go ahead and declare in perm. Not co-belligerenting Muscovy, that's right. Let's just let's just declare for whatever. All right, so these guys got one province there, two over there. Let's do this. And we're about done here. So can we full annex both of these guys in the same war? Yes, we can. Okay, there's, uh, there's Muscovy and perm out. Awesome. Okay, I think Denmark is next. Let's see the truce with the Great Horde. 1505. Yeah, Denmark has got to be next. And with uh, Muscovy being wiped out, that's one of our goals accomplished. Our former overlord doesn't exist anymore let's get it baby all we need is colonialism now we're pretty good on the list excellent maybe i don't even have to fight denmark although we do got plenty of time why not do it and there's a gold mine in bosch gear devved up to 10 perfect autonomy lowered inflation is pretty high but well we're making more money than this yeah wasting a lot on reinforcements no you gotta be kidding me why Oh, a vital interest. Okay, let me remove everything that's vital interest. Now they won't do that, I think. Oh yeah, now we're good. Whew. I'm gonna recruit five of these guys since we need it for a mission. 
There we go. Now we can take this. Prestige admin points. Perma claims on this right here. Conquer Moscow. Perma claims morale. Okay, not bad. Oh, we got some big boy loans now. That's what I'm talking about. Now Poland won't help. Whatever. And you know what? Actually, man, you know, truce with the Great Horde, 1505. No need to fight anyone else. Do we need to annex these guys? It'll take a really long time. Oh, and they actually hate me. Wow. Okay. Uh, tyrant Overlord, apparently. But uh, our dev is good. Our dev is good. And colonialism did just spawn. Where is it? Where did it spawn? Okay, in Castile. So Castile will get it. Portugal will get it. Who else is it spreading to? Yeah, a bunch of these guys. You know what? I'm thinking we just stack some points. Uh, development. The cheapest promise to dev is Kashin. Where is that? Somewhere up here, I guess. Is this one. They're all pretty cheap, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's just stack some points and then start deving in colonialism. Meanwhile, you know what? Meanwhile, I'll just provoke a bunch of separatists so we can go ahead and fight them. Where are they? Oh, they're all over here. Okay. Okay, so this province has the least dev right here and it's the same cost as this one. So let's let's do the one with less dev. Obviously, let's activate Encourage right here. Uh, Renaissance, of course, is already present. And let's start bumping it up. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, expand infrastructure. Uh, pretty good so far. It is really cheap, actually. I think we can get it right away. Oh, no, we can't. We still need to wait a bit more. But yeah, there we go. That's where we're deving colonialism, baby. And I think there's the final dev click. Yeah, there we go. How much money do we need to embrace it? Oh, we can't even do it. Uh, let's activate advancement then. Yeah, advancement. Right, I didn't even think about getting the dev discount <laughs> icon. I'm an idiot. I just lowered autonomy when I shouldn't have. And now we can embrace colonialism. I think I need about, yeah, 1300 ducats, but no need to rush it and get a bunch of loans and stuff like that. Let's just wait for someone else to embrace it first, because as always, we do need someone with colonialism below us. What's going on here? You know what? I'll accept. I'll set these two. Yeah, they're already provinces of interest, so I'll accept in hopes that I get these two. And the war is done, and they... Let's see. Oh, I actually got three provinces. I didn't even want this one. <laughs> Thanks, though. And actually, now, uh, there we go. Venice has embraced uh, colonialism, which means if we do it, we'll jump over them. I still need about 1,300 ducats, so uh, can I get... Oh, I can't... Oh, actually, yeah, let me pay off the burger loan. Now let's get new burger loans, and we can't embrace it. Let's get one more regular loan should pop up about now and there it is and with that we have also accomplished our other goal of becoming a great power with colonialism embraced with someone with colonialism below us there are two nations below us right now england and venice and after wiping out muscovy earlier this challenge is a success but yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Nizhny Novgorod in like these four provinces right here or something like that. And honestly, I thought it would be really, really painful. And sure, it is a really difficult start breaking free from Muscovy, not knowing which way you're going to go, whether you're going to get Lithuania and Novgorod or Poland and Lithuania after a few years. And like I said, I did do a couple of trial runs. Most of them were successes, a failure here or there, but I did need to figure out how to break free from these guys because I still had PTSD from playing below zero. But honestly, a super fun campaign, man. I'm really glad we were in this. This region right here always fun to play in you know blew up muscovy real early everyone else pounced on them fought them kept fighting them fought some of the remaining vassals fought the great horde and kazan and uzbek and uh overall super super successful we got kazan as a vassal right here if we integrate them that's about a uh, 50 more dev i'm thinking so we're pretty much at 600 dev almost got this gold mine making a ton of money not just from gold but production and station funnily enough even though we suck at trade because kazan is our main trade node but you know after a little bit of expansion over here you can move it to Novgorod and stuff like that and do the usual stuff overall lots of manpower super big army stayed allied to Poland Lithuania the entirety of the campaign couldn't fight Denmark or some of these other guys like I wanted to but honestly man I'm super super satisfied and I'm really glad to have played this nation and I definitely recommend you guys give them a shot pretty cool national ideas honestly later of course you could form Russia this mission tree then later the Russian mission tree you could keep these ideas maybe for some sort of colonizer Russia or something like that but honestly a really fun game built lots of marketplaces lots of production buildings churches and stuff stuff like that you already know and uh yeah overall i'm super happy with this run uh i shouldn't have been scared i don't think i'll be scared when we play kasim right here either when we uh eventually roll them although i don't know how it's gonna go with the other muscovite vassals yeah they already exist uh, with them it's gonna be below zero all over again but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as nizhny novgorod in releasables has been a success and that has been nizhny novgorod in releasables now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're gonna play next time all right all right here we are in the wheel of releasable nations let's click to spin and see which nation is gonna inflict pain on us next time you know i see estonia latgalia right here i wouldn't mind playing those guys and next time we're gonna play the nation
mention of Modena. I guess we're back in Italy. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Modena next time to break free from Milan, I think, and become a great power. All head AE. Ugh, it's gonna be so painful. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash redhawklive. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.